Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I have had this crazy idea that I want to use a 16 by 20 inch canvas and a few layers of paint and an OXO omelet turning spatula available below show more on the link tree. It has my Amazon link. If you shop there, it's at no added cost to you. So anyway, my idea is once I get a base layer of paint pretty well covering whatever I want to, I'm going to add paint onto it, the edge of my spatula and use it as a swipe. Hopefully I won't have too much canvas showing on the edges. So I have to decide if it's black and white or black and white and gold because I'm really wanting to play with the gold. I have some cell activator which is nothing more than acrylic paint with <laughs> with uh, oh my paint came open darn. Um, I had some paint under plastic wrap and it's not there. It's not being held down anymore. Anyway, so that cell activator is where? Uh, right there. I got it. Black. Yes. Okay. Now black and white often sell together anyway. I'm just trying to get some paint on my edges really quickly. And it's not going as quickly as I'd like it to. Okay, so now I'm going to bring the gold in. Actually, that's the gold mica powder. So let me grab my regular... Whatever my my mixture was left. And I'm just going to give myself the briefest, heaviest layer I can manage. I wanted to do one of those gold and black and white ring pours today, but I got busy doing other things. Oh, I already had some cells. Let's let that all go down over the edge right here. Use my fingers, best tool I've got, attached to the end of my arm. This is definitely supposed to be just a hit and run. All right, so I've got some white here somewhere. There it is. Oh, you know what? I've got some white left from yesterday. And I don't know if it's usable or not, but since it's only going on the center of the canvas, it doesn't really matter. And it was plenty good, plenty usable. So I'm going to throw that in the bucket. My bucket got emptied yesterday and I didn't put any more water in there. Okay, so now what I've wanted to use was supposed to be on the on the white. And so I'm thinking maybe a little more white might not hurt my feelings any. So I'm going to do that right up the center. and tip it so it flows. And then, because I can, and you could too, I'm gonna spread it around a little. Especially in that spot where I see that there's canvas left. I just want a slightly thinner layer. I'm really inclined to just put some black in there and see what happens, but it's just better for me than blowing right now. So this is my fantasy right here, is to put that without that cling on, put some of that right in that dish, make sure my spatula is somewhat clean. I'm going to just keep wiping off my residuals. I know I talked about the black cell activator and then I didn't use it, but it doesn't, doesn't mean I'm done yet. I am going to use whatever white is a residual. 
I'm going to use any and all residuals. How about that? Use a little more of that. That is a folk art neon purple, which most people who watch me probably know by now. If you're new, welcome. I have other colors that I happen to have great affection for, and they are coming right your way in a second. And this one is plugged. Of course it is. Well, maybe this one is not. Oh, that one's plugged too. Okay. Sometimes. Yep, I got lucky. Sometimes I can pull the little cap off the top. With my teeth. I know, I stopped doing the spatula. Oh well. But I am having a good time, if that counts. Now I have some leftover. I keep forgetting the name now. Um, mysterious. I used mica powder yesterday in my artwork and I kind of wish I had again. Super simple color palette and nothing but spatula swiping. But I think I'm going to go How far do I want to go? That's the question. I have some... Do I want any of that? That's a really strange color for me. Um, this is a phthalo... Phthalo green. Phthalo. Phthalo green. And I have a bunch of it. And I kind of want to see what happens. This is all about the cells, by the way. This is just me playing in paint. With a spatula. It's a hit and run painting. I'm kind of contemplating adding some drips because I've wanted to do some drips for days. The question is what would it be? And I think the answer is right here in my hand. Maybe I like that color phthalo green with the purple. I like my cells too. Everywhere. I could probably blow that around. Just pick in a direction. Oh wow, I have some beautiful cells right in the center there. So what other color might I like to put in there? I really want to play with the red. I might want to play with something I can't have. I wasn't really expecting to put all that in there. probably can waggle something. It definitely makes me want some orange. But I don't want this color palette to be so incredibly excessive. I do use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures, which means that if I want to leave heavy paint heavy, I can, and it won't crack. That was some more of the phthalo green. I, why am I having a hard time saying it, that at all? So now I have a nice mass of there. I wish I'd taken the top off this other one. I know that that's going to run. Come on back here. Come on. <laughs> Hooks, it's hooked on my... You know what? I think that might do it. I really do. Oh, 
And I don't have just large spatulas. I've got Princeton Art Tool Cattle spatulas, and that orange will often sell also. Some beautiful gold under there. I'm not sure I wanted that right where I just put it, but. Maybe a little bit of the mica powder gold. I have so many nice cells. I should really quit while I'm ahead. I think I'm going to take the dull end of a skewer. check out one last go round. I kind of want this to move down here. I think if I add a little cell activator right in there that I'll probably like it. I know people might have an issue with me doing these black and white strands but I'm a big fan. of the drama. I want a bunch more of that and to try the Amsterdam not sure about this red in here anymore which is too bad because I just eradicated some really cool cells I do like waggling things an awful lot. Just to integrate them sometimes. I think. That looks like canvas. Finger swipe. I do like using my skewer and I sometimes forget I don't have any rules so I can do that if I want to. I'm thinking that I'm almost done with this so, so I should say, say thank you. I have 90,000 subscribers and sometimes a few of you were watching today. I kind of like that. I'm not sure about that. That's kind of bugging me. So maybe, maybe I'll bring in my favorite. Which is definitely not cooperating with me right now. I don't see very much of that blue. And you really want this blue out of here. And hopefully I have enough time to use it. I'm thinking. Just throw some random marks in there. And use my skewer. That's kind of cool. Use my skewer like a very bad paintbrush. <laughs> I am stealing a little paint from here and there. I could tip. I didn't continue looking for cells like I like I started this whole process. But I had some real fun the other day recently just creating with marks. And if I stop and let the skewer relax or let this if I stop the skewer allows the paint to relax off it. So I have to decide now 
very quickly because it's almost dinner time, in fact, what, if anything, I want to put in here. And I'm looking around and I'm thinking to myself, what will it be? And I'm thinking turquoise is also plugged in, but can be unplugged easily enough, hopefully. I got it. At least I got some of it. Not enough. Little tiny dribbles, just not enough at all. Some. I'm trying to take advantage of that fact. The sporadic. Oh, that looks like a lump of something. Goodbye, lump of something. I used to love scratching down to canvas when I wasn't doing fluid acrylics. I was still using fluid acrylics, but they didn't have any pouring medium in them. Yeah, I think I like that turquoise a lot, actually. And I've used my time. And whatever else I want to do. It's going to be in the next two minutes. Well, I tell you guys, thank you for sharing my videos. It helps me out. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I don't have a lot of viewership, but I have a lot of subscribers, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. I do have a drawing every month for the contributors to the, uh, the studio. So if you can and you have contributed to help keep the studio making videos, there's usually less than 20 people in a month. And so the paintings that I give away are shown or shared on the exhibition video on the end screen of any video. This is kind of fun. I kind of like it. Where's my orange again? There we go. Do I really want to go there? Maybe a little here and a little there. Very little. Okay, so I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Ask you guys to give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. Check on the link tree below the video for Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more. Should you happen to want to go shopping and see what I've used my own artwork for on lots of cool products. Yes, I am scraping down a canvas and I'm enjoying it. Oh boy. I have lots of nice little cells. And there's lots of movement and fun stuff going on in there. sure not to put the edge of my bottle into my artwork. And I'm going to be done in a second. Really, really, really I am. So I've got one minute left and I almost used up my time. I have two books. Volume one is Because I Can. Volume two is Unlimited Possibility. They are both on the Amazon link. And if you shop there, you help me out. At no added cost to you, and I really appreciate all of you who have done the, done so. Thank you guys for the wonderful comments. I really appreciate that. Please ask questions if you want to. Look on my YouTube channel for over 1,600 videos organized by the 100 and by topic. If you have questions, feel free to ask them. Thank you for all the wonderful comments you leave me. You keep my morale boosted. Check the Teespring clothing underneath the video. I've just la added a whole bunch of really cool stuff. And... Uh, yeah, this says it's a composition. <laughs> and I'm going to call it good as soon as I can stop myself. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery doing a hit and run painting. And I think you're going to be gone in a second. And it's either stop the timer or don't show you a close up. So we're going to leave it beeping. There's a lot of cool stuff in here.